For Linda Campbell, helping her mom at the Warren Flea Market has made her a familiar face here in the Valley. Her friends at the Flea didn't even know she had a pretty sweet band called We Next until now. Well, I don't know. I guess I'm a little humble. And, um, you know, this is, I love the flea market because I love being around all the people. The Warren Flea Market, man, it's happening down here. And I love just being around the people. My mom's been here for 13 years. So I kind of like hang with her down here and I got to meet everybody down here. But my, my talent, I kept separate, you know, and I wanted as, to surprise them, you know, like today. This is the first time they saw me since I've been here. And they're very surprised because they never knew I could sing or perform. So it, I love it. I love to see the smiles on their face and surprise and look, everything, you know. It was just, it does my heart good. I ended up singing for a lot of bands until the point where I got tired of singing for everybody and I decided, let me show y'all how this is done. Let a female show you a little something. So this is when I decided to start my own band and I just went around and I picked each one of my band members individually to fit what I wanted. And everyone plays to their strengths in the band. I don't know, we just feed off each other's love and care so that we can sing the way we do sing. Everything is in harmony. Um, we work hard, we work hard to do what we do. Um, I also sing in the praise team at my church and um, I'm an avid grandmother, I don't know, that's all I got. It's mostly in my nature, so it's just something that comes out of you, you know. It's my nature, so I just go with the, the bass and the drums, really, the bottom half, and I just put, a, put the rhythm to it, you know. At the VFW in Hubbard, and uh, they asked me that I want to play a song, and I was like, ah, what the hell, I'll play one. Got up there and I played one, and they was like, well, we need to come to the band. So I went to rehearsal, and I've been there ever since. I've known Linda since like the mid-90s. We performed and jammed off and on with different groups. And uh, she started the band, had some personnel changes, ended up calling me, and I've been with them ever since. The original Linda, the way she does it, she got a real good ear to hear, and she just put us together. Everywhere we go, they say that four part harmony is very tight. That's what really draws the crowd because of the harmony and the unity and the, how it's together. She's a good girl, she knows her stuff. Our chemistry, we all get along and you know, we're like family. Um, yeah, they've been there for me during my hard times and yeah, it's family. Each drawing from their musical inspirations. I would say Etta James. Why? Because when she sang, she made you feel it. I really love West Montgomery, that type of music. That's why I like chords. I mean, one part of the house, there'd be jazz playing, then there'd be rock, and you know, everything from uh, Count Basie to Alice Cooper to Elton John, so, you know, and everything in between. My inspirations would be like uh, ACDC, Iron Maiden, Pat Benatar, uh, Heart, bands like that. Yeah. And they play just about everything. We do such a variety of songs. We do rock and roll. The only thing we don't do is country, but I'm sure she's working on one for us to learn. I'm sure. And even a shout out to Lauren. And this song is for Lauren at Valley Spotlight. Valley Spotlight. So Lauren, here's to you, baby girl. I hope you enjoy it. We next. <laughs> Y'all want us back, that's all.